did you do that? That's hypnosis. Today we're going to get hypnotized to figure out past lives that we may have experienced. I'm very nervous. I've never been hypnotized because I like to be in control of myself at all times. I'm scared of like being exposed and it doesn't mean like necessarily just like physically naked. I've been practicing past life regression therapy for over 700 years. Today we are going to see three different examples of past life regression therapy. This is when a person chooses an issue that he or she would like to overcome, then we travel back to who the person was, the past life, to the event or events that are going to illuminate the cause of the issue, and from there we're able to heal it. Uh, so Joyce, do you mind having the HypnoCat on your lap? No, I completely enjoy it. What is your intention for having your past life aggression? I want to heal my migraines. For today, I would like to focus on my fear of waves and water. Is there something in your life you'd like to heal? It's, it's doubt. It's doubt. So the induction is to go from a full waking state down into the hypnotic trance. I feel like you're doing it to me already. I you am. You are, right? I'm like. I am. Now I'm going to show you how powerful you are, Joyce. You are so powerful that you can relax your eyelids wonderfully, totally, and completely. For the subconscious mind knows how to generate healing. Your power word is the word trust because you can trust yourself more and more. You are now in an alpha state of hypnosis and we can now hack into the subconscious mind. You can imagine or visualize getting called to an amazing corridor and you are gliding through. Three, step into the light. Two, step into the light. One, step into the light at zero. Take a big step forward. You are in another time in another place. And now look down at your hands. Are you a man or a woman, a boy or a girl? Woman. And look at your palms and your fingertips. Are you a girl of leisure or do you work hard with your hands? I have jewelry on though. Ah, tell me about the jewelry. Describe it. They're like teeth, like alligator teeth. Yes. And describe the landscape, the environment. It's like a swamp, like high grass. Travel to your home in your past life. What does your home look like? It's small, from the countryside. And look around and orient yourself. Do you know? in what land you live. Scotland. What can you see? I'm in like a canyon. And are you alone or are there other people? There's other people. Men and women, men only? Mm, I think it's just men. Yes. Do you know your name or is someone calling to you even a nickname? I heard Alice. Yes, Alice. And speak your name out loud. Annabelle. Tell me about your home. It's good. It's like alligator people. The alligator means a lot for us. See if there's anything that you carry. I have like a tiny bag with me. I have kids. Boys, girls? Boys. How many? There's two. Tell me about your home. Don't think we can go home. We shouldn't have left. No, of course not. Why shouldn't you have left? The people we're with aren't good. Let the amazing wisdom of the subconscious mind pull you towards the event that will illuminate and resolve your ambivalence about the ocean. What is happening, Annabelle? You can't stay here anymore. No, of course not. Why do you have to leave? It's a war. And we go into the water. Mm -hmm. My mother and my aunt are there. And what's happening? I'm pushing their boat into the water and I'm trying to go, but they pull me back. They won't let me leave. Who's not going to let you leave? The forces the other side, they won't let me leave. What happened with the ocean? Take a nice deep breath and release any shame associated with it. I think for sure I drowned in there, but it was by accident. I think I went in looking for something. So tell me what you see and be brave. I left. Yeah. You left, and who did you leave behind? I think I left everyone. Did you go by yourself? Did you take the boys? No. It's okay, because this was not a good place for you. And what finally happens? They hit me on the head. They hit you on the head, and then what happened? And I died. Yeah. You're at the 
moment after death. And you are going to go up higher and higher till you connect with every incarnation from all your past lives. You may ask the question, how am I able to release the trauma of wanting to go, but having to stay? We're going to go just to the moment after death. You are there. How did you die, Alice? I just am on the floor. Something just gave out, huh? And where did you feel it in your body before it happened? You can remember. My heart. Yeah. Look at my finger with your eyes closed. Look even more. With your wisdom, you can enjoy the ocean. What insight or perspective does the wise self reveal to you? Speak it out loud. There wasn't really a choice. And really listen to your wise self. Can you allow yourself to forgive yourself? Give me an honest answer. I don't know. I thought they'd be fine. When you were Alice, you didn't have control, freedom, or power. Breathe that in and acknowledge it. And now ask, as a daughter of the 21st century, is being held back still serving you? And if it's not, take a very, very, very deep breath and release being held back. Now I'm gonna ask you a question as Kate. Do you have power, freedom, and choice? Yes. You have power, freedom, and choice. And one, two, three, four, five, Joyce, eyes open wide awake. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> I'm only laughing because I'm very uncomfortable with how intense that was. <laughs> it was strange. I was like her at first, and then I like became this alligator. Damn. I didn't want to say anything. I was so like sh ashamed of everything I was saying. Of course. Yeah. But your wise self told you you didn't have a choice under those circumstances. Yeah. Would you trust me that it stands on its own as what has happened to women for generations who truly had no choice? It taught me a lot. I usually get a headache around once a day, but today I just feel really calm, really chill. I have to figure out what I feel about all of this. If it's a way for us to like personifying our underlying guilt from other situations, or if I actually believe in past lives. It was interesting just cause like, I'm both super spiritual and at the same time, I try to be as logical as possible. And I'm just like, oh, what was real and what was me? It kind of doesn't matter. Like it was just a really good experience to like, just let your mind flow exactly the way that it wants to.